Hi, in this session, before discussing the proving techniques, let's see one technique which is used to disprove a theorem. Suppose if we feel that a theorem is not correct, okay, we can disprove the theorem stating some example. Only proving is harder because for all possible inputs, the theorem should hold good. That is, the theorem should satisfy whatever it is saying. To disprove, we just need one example to show that it is violating the property stated in the theorem. And we are going to see such examples here. So, this is disproving by counter example. To see one example, if integer x is prime, then x is odd. This is the theorem. Then we are coming up with a example which is integer 2 and integer 2 is prime. 2 is integer as well as it is prime. But it is not odd. It is a even number. So, so we are saying this property, whatever property said in the theorem is violated by the example 2, thereby disproving the statement given. Another example is that there is no pair of integers a and b such that a mod b equal to b mod a. So, when we wanted to disprove here, here we have three cases. a can be less than b and b can be less than a or a is equal to b. We have three cases. But due to the symmetric property of the statement that we have here, a mod b equal to b mod a. The first two cases like a less than b and b less than a will be similar because we just need to exchange the roles of a and b. So, we have only two cases here. The first case is a less than b. When a is less than b, what is a mod b? Since a is a smaller number, which we are trying to divide by a bigger number, this a will appear as a reminder. So, a mod b will be equal to a when a is less than b. What about b mod a? Since a is a smaller number, we will get a reminder which is smaller than a when we divide b by a. So, the left hand side is equal to a. The right hand side is less than a. Thereby we disprove this theorem. We can stop at this point. Just for the sake of completeness we proceed further. And say for the case of b less than a. I have to just exchange the role of a and b in case 1. That is all. And when a is equal to b. Then a mod b will be equal to b mod a and both will be equal to 0. Although the theorem is true for this case, okay, we disprove for a general case where a less than b or b less than a, this theorem does not hold, thereby disproving the theorem. In the next video, I will come up with the proving techniques. Thank you for watching the video.